Hey YouTube, I just wanted to update you on my steel track installation on my Groundhog KH14G. In the last video, you got to see the rubber track come off and how I did that. Now, in this video, I want to show you what you need to install your steel tracks. Let me show you the chain tensioner I bought. This will make your job a lot easier. When you bring the two loose ends of your track link together with this, it'll align your holes, which will allow you to take this pin and this pin and this spring keeper and this spring keeper, you'll be able to drive the pins through this hole, placing your spring keepers here and here. Uh, each pin will be driven through from the outside. You can drive that clear through so you can install it on this side You'll have to put your spring keeper in place and drive your, your first pin through it. That will lock your track link in place. And then the same thing for this side. You'll need a, a punch and a hammer to do so. A little bit of WD-40 couldn't hurt during this job. And if you use a, uh, an old uh, ratchet strap, you can hook into the tracks like so and pull these tracks around, pull them in position keeping your fingers back away from the track links so you don't have to pinch your fingers. All right, hopefully uh, I can show you how this works out here in a little bit. Talk to you later.